So scientific management is really about trying to find the one best way to do the job. We call that standardization. So we want to try to standardize the job. If we have a standardized job, then we have a way that we can train people to do the job. We can uh, assess people's performance. And this is very much an engineering approach. This was an approach started by Frederick Taylor in the early 1900s. Taylor was an engineer, and hence the reason for this engineering approach. Now, a lot of times scientific management is characterized as being very impersonal and, and treating people like they're just cogs in the machine. However, if we understand how things were taking place at in the early 1900s, we can actually see that Frederick Taylor did a lot to improve the workers. Now, the general principles of scientific management is, first off, we, we develop a science for the elements of work to replace the rules of thumb. So pre-Taylor in his work, workers were just kind of assigned to whatever job. They brought their own tools. They did it in whatever way that they thought they should do it. There was no agreed upon way of doing anything. And so Taylor used scientific methods, in his case, primarily observation, uh, to, to try to find that one best way. One of the things that he did is he developed what he called the science of shoveling. Because one of the jobs at the plant where he worked is uh, the workers had to shovel materials and workers would bring their own tools in place. So they just go to the hardware store and they'd buy one shovel. All right. But the types of material that they were shoveling could be very different. Some of it was very light, like a powder, whereas other pieces were really heavy, like think uh, rocks. And so a shovel full of rocks was too heavy and a shovel full of the powder was too light. And so what he did is he talked the company into buying uh, their own tools that workers could check out to do the job. So he had appropriate sized shovels for the type of material that was being used. Another thing that he did is he he talked about selecting training and teaching workers on how to appropriately do the job. One of the jobs that Taylor did was uh, that of a pig iron hauler. Pig iron is these big pieces of iron, like about the size of a pig. And so the average worker pre-tailor could haul about 10 tons of pig iron over the course of a working day. So what Taylor did is he selected the strongest men. He trained them in proper lifting techniques. And then with this, he uh, increased the average tonnage hauled from 10 tons to up to 47 tons. And here's the real kicker. Those workers were resting half the time. And so, like I said, Taylor improved the lives of workers. Uh, then also, there he believed there needed to be cooperation uh, with workers to ensure that the work is done, cooperation between managers and, and the workers, and that workers should do the work in which they were best qualified to do it, and the managers should do the work that they were best qualified. And so he believed in this, this separation. 